Good morning, folks. Uh, my name is Adi from Adi's Car Gaming, and I'm here to bring you a deck list of my uh, undefeated uh, Red Omni deck. It, um, it's not fully complete, but it did the job for a tournament on Monday there, or past Monday there, for winning a car tournament. And the card was a Alt Art Gallimon. But anyway, I'm just going to stop rambling and get into the deck. And it, it, I'll just explain everything as I go and what the matchups and everything. But uh, I played four Gigamon and one Cormon. Um, that's just pretty much the the standard how we go for uh, red players now until we get that um, until we get the new support from BT. BT4, but that's been delayed because of uh, distributors and COVID and all that. But anyway, uh, we're going to start off with, of course, we play two Red Omni. Um, I do have a third copy, but I don't play a third copy because I think I don't want to kind of like utilize um, Omni all the time. I don't want to be like constantly using them, even though in my first two games, I played against a Black Cranium on uh, slash uh, Ragnarok Mon slash Blitz Grey Mon deck twice, which was crazy as hell. So, um, I'll get I'll get into that at the end of the thing. But this this card, like, I'd even need to like have it in security. If I had it one hand, one security, it 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 was such a good card. Like, but anyway, I'll get into the I'll get into that information in the way anyway. Uh, we have what you call it? We have three Agumons from the starter deck. He's just your Get your boost and then everything, blah blah blah. We all know the standard Agumon line. You can play three or four. I played three, of course. Then from BT three or BT two, yeah, what you get from set one point five is the uh, the Beomon with the memory. The amount of times why I played this, like if I went first, I would drop this from hand. I know I give my mem my opponent free memory, but they don't really go off with something. They'll try and climb up into something raiding zone, and then they pass to me. This will just, I just swing with this straight off the bat when it goes to my turn after I raise or whatever and I gain a memory and then I see why pop off and then that's me like such a really good card and yes, play a three. Um, I'm playing a very unusual amount of rookies here. I think I'm playing about, what's that? That was six. So yeah, I'll continue on. I'll count those as we go. I don't, I don't know the numbers to my deck. I'm playing the two Beomons with the, uh, the block. Um, this makes opponents think really really uh hard before they start swinging into uh, i gotta take a drink of water here but um basically the amount of times where opponent would swing or i would swing and then they'll block and they don't realize that like this digimon is now blocked it gains two it gains like two uh, k damage and it just gets rid of the blocker and makes them think twice it has made me swing at security so many times then we're playing two gilmon uh, Gilmon's pretty funny as well. Like he's just another uh, Gigimon as well. Like Gigi is like five in the trash, and then Gilmon's five in the trash. So you're basically like stacking on uh, G uh, Gilmon to Gigimon, and you're you're legit giving your Digimon uh, above this a two uh, K boost, which I find very funny. Uh, next we're gonna be playing uh, what you call it, three Monogimon. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I was playing a four copy, but I think I've cut it down to three because. Yeah, I did cut it down to tree, did I? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I did cut it down to tree. Yep, I was playing three monitor mon. Oh yes, 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 yes. I was. I'm being an idiot. I thought I was playing four monitor mon. No, I am playing tree monitor mon. Of course, he's your easy two drop and everything. So you basically just choke your opponent. Not to mention he's like easy swings. I this is supposed to be a red omni deck, but I made it utilize everything. So. It's just a pretty red aggro deck that just uses all its levels to kill. Uh, and our last of the rookies are the three standard Beomon from the uh, structure deck, of course. Two of the exact same as a Monodromon. It's just, you know, more plays. That was, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Playing 16 rookies with this deck. I can cut some down or I can put more in, but I choose not to. Next minute. For the level fours, we are playing four standard. You can put down the tree if you want. You can put down to two if you want to add in more level fours. But I am playing the four Greymon from the structure deck. He's a security. He's a t he's a two plus and everything. He's a four K. Yes, but with a Gilmon and a Gigimon, he's basically a six K. 
which I kind of prefer. <laughs> it's not that expensive. Next minute, we're playing two Graumons, of course. Graumon, like, I don't know. Um, I was playing the uh, level 5 War Graumon, and it went pretty well. But there's a reason why I've cut out my War Graumons and then kept my Graumons in. Because Graumon is uh, the leader of your opponent's Digimon with 2 DP or less. So you're level 5 on top of this will attack and next minute you're popping off um some of your opponents uh uh 2k or less uh digimon which came very handy in yellow so i basically came up against two two black decks that had two black slash red decks that had craniumons blitz uh graymon and uh, ragnolermon which was just crazy i'll explain the deck list and everything i'll explain it later on anyway like i said uh, continue on with the level fours. I am playing four Cordromons. Of course, we all need our four blockers and everything. Um, Omnimon and a cor and like two Cordromons or an Omnimon, a Cordromon, and a different Digimon is basically like super pressure. Like even if they have something to swing over, you can just sacrifice your Cordromon, or even like you you don't have game and you have your Cordromon left. Swing with your defender. I know you're losing two memory, but you're still killing your opponent, and it doesn't really matter if you swing and lose memory. If your if your opponent has no security, go for it. Next is our Vanillas. Uh, we have four Dark Tyrannomons, of course. Dark Tyrannomon. I know he's a play cost six. He's a level four, though, with 6,000 DP. And he's an evolution cost of one. No questions needed there. I think he's just a big beat stick for a cost of one. I wouldn't really hard drop him for uh, six. Uh, that, that just gives your, your opponent way too much memory. Next minute, we are going into... Our level fives now. Now level fives. I'm only playing eight level fives for my champions. My champions. I was playing twelve champions. So sixteen rookies, twelve champions, and we have eight uh, ultimates, of course. So playing the standard, of course. You can change this around if you want. Um, I would change this if I had the uh, the cards uh, of my level fives. But I think having my uh, four metal gray months with the inheritance of uh, when you draw, when you when the Stigimon's blocked, it gains memory. It, it you basically go into your War Greymon, and you're basically down to like zero memory or something, or one memory, and you swing and they block you. They don't realize that you have gained three memory, and then you can do more plays. And it's allowed you, to, it's allowed me to go up into Omnimon and blow up the field. And they're like, well, that was a bad mistake, and they don't have much memory to recover. Um. The new addition of the, the to the deck, of course, um, it was it was the Biomon as well. The new Biomons. I added in uh, Lavogartimon. Lavogartimon is is so cheap, right? It doesn't have the inheritance spec. It doesn't have any skill compared to Melgrim. But Melgrimon is a plus. Uh, is a tree. Did you did you all cost? And it's seven k. This is an eight k. This is an eight k for the cost. Excuse me for the cost two. This is. Basically getting in those early swings while even going into like going into like your level six uh war Greymon or your whatever level six you want, the red blitz Greymon and all that stuff. I I have brought this out a few times and I start swinging and the amount of times where I'm just like, yeah, it's safe. It has a damage boost, it has the block and everything boost, and it's just like it's so early swings. It, this is what I mean by like it wasn't a heavily red Omni deck. It wasn't relied on Omni so much. But the first two games, my first two, my first two matches, Omni won with me. Um, we're going to go into the level sixes now. Now I'm playing a weird uh, number of level sixes. I am playing uh just six. So of course the two Falcon Dramons for the uh, Rookie Rush never came up against Rookie Rush. But, um, I don't think I've even played uh, Falcon Dramon, but uh, it has a security attack plus one, so the additional attack. Under the Greymon, under the block, it's a tree, it's a tree cost, which is really good, and it's a 10k. And the on-play effect, we all know what it does, uh, deletes uh, most of the rookies that have 4k or less. Here we go, here's the boy himself, which caused fear to my opponents. We have four War Greymons from the structure deck. Uh, I would, I would play, um... Four of maybe two for Countermon, two or Greymons from the structure, and then two from the booster box. But sadly, I only have one structure, uh, one booster box for Greymon, of course. And um, yeah, no, this 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 basically put fear into my opponent. Like I was able to get this up on my like my second turn or my third turn, and I would keep it in my raising zone, and I'll bring it out, 
and I would go for swings and they would either block it and it wouldn't die because it has like the boost and it's fine and then they're like right they have more blockers now but this had like this was going up to 14k and it had it was giving me tree memory and it was swinging for five securities and everything it was funny as hell and then I would just like swing for game and then I would just drop down an Omnimon on top of it of course and then the Omnimon would blow up the field and then I'll bring back that War Greymon and then stack up that War Greymon on a different stack. And it'd be just like, yeah, I'm going to swing and then pop and then go off from there. It was crazy. Well, um, if if I have the chance to, and I hopefully will, because I'm going to be doing this uh, coming up as today, I'm, I'm purchasing at 1.5 bucks. I would definitely trade out my Vakandramons for Blitz Greymon because I know Vakandramon is so good. But that Blitz Greymon, that, like, that card... It just de digivolves your opponent and it will help me a lot. But uh, I think the timing of Blitz War Greymon, or not Blitz War Greymon, Blitz Greymon is um, it, it, it's really harsh if you miss the timing. So my opponents kept um, hitting me at the wrong time for a uh, Blitz Greymon because the amount of times where like, I had a War Greymon on the field and they'll de digivolve me down into, I, I forget how long it does, it does it twice or once. Or into my War Greymon, or into my, uh, or into my Metal Greymon, and I'm like, okay, I'll just bring out this again, and then go to my Omnimon again. Like I have a second one, and I just swing for game. I think Blitz War Greymon, uh, Blitz Greymon needs to be weighted on an Omnimon at level six or something. I don't know the effect of it properly, but yeah. Um, next minute, I'm gonna go into the two op the uh, optional cards last. Uh, we are playing two ties, of course. Uh, I was playing two ties and the two white ties, but. I don't think red players really need to get that DP boost up because with the new 1.5 support, such as Gigimon and all that, we're getting loads of damage into our opponent. Like our our highest damage we can do is um our highest that we can do is that that's two, that's three, three, and then you got the 18k. Army Monk can do 18k if we had the right stack. It's funny and. Yeah, so your memory and your security and all that stuff, like it's standard, you play a one of or two of, I play two of. Um, now, this is funny. My last two cards are <laughs> Kai of Force. I kept drawing, right? I kept drawing in my last few uh, tournaments and locals for Gaia Force. It would it be one time where I never drew into the Gaia Force and I needed so much and it'd be my security? My Gaia Force was never seen in my hand like at all besides like one game one match that was it and it was either in my deck or it was in my security and the most time it was in my security but it, it was crazy like but i'm gonna basically explain uh my uh the tournament the tournament was a alt art gallopmon uh card i there was supposed to be four rounds but um it went down the three rounds the reason why I went down to three rounds is because we didn't have a player to this because I don't think people want to waste their money on um, just like an, a, an alt art card and like that's it. Like, but um, D and D, I'm gonna do a shout out to D and D, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Donuts in Galway, based in Ireland. Here, they were the ones to hold the event. Shout out to Alia. Alia was the organizer. She basically gave her uh, alt art Galamon for a uh, surprise card and everything. Um, the way it went was, if there was 8 players, first place prize. If there was 12 players, there would be a second place prize. And that would have been an alt art uh, TK Kamai. Well, um, seeing how we only had 7 players, uh, Alia took it down to her and fair play to her. She took it into play. She would join. But even if she came top, the second player would have won the first place prize because there's no point in giving your card and then winning again. Like, there's no point. So, um, it went to... It would have went four games if uh, whoever was top, uh, whoever won their third round, uh, if they won their third game, uh, that was it. They won it. But if they drew or lost their game, it would have went into round four. But uh, I went up into a uh, black red deck my first turn against Lorcan. Shout out to Lorcan. I don't know your last name. I'm so sorry, man. But your deck was crazy, man. And my second game. Uh, my second match went up against uh, Black and Red deck as well. Shout out to you, Keen. Man, you had me on the goddamn, like, rail. You had me up against the wall. You were killing me. You were... You're... I am going to explain your deck. It was crazy as well. 
And my last game, I played against the yellow deck. And shout out to you, Josh, man. Even though you didn't have the right cards, you basically had me killed. You were basically, like, stalling and everything in the, the best way ever to, like, get recovery and everything. But I don't think you had the the, the push yet. But, yeah. So, game one, it went against uh, Lorcan. Lorcan is a um, amazing player. He had a Cranium Mon deck mixed in with a uh, Ragnarord Mon, and I thought it was a crazy build and everything. It was super, super crazy. He was able to bring out like his uh, his uh, Cranium Mon straight off the first turn, but um, sadly enough, um, Omni Mon was in security, and Omni Mon gave me the push and like with an Omni Mon, right? If you have Omnimon, right, they bring out Craniumon, and then you bring out Omnimon, and you pop off what blockers they don't have. Um, you basically swing twice, and they're going to have to block, and you can swing uh, for game to break them down and all this stuff. And then they can't get over the Omnimon, because Omnimon is like 15, and Craniumon can only hit like, I think, 13 or 14, depending on their stack, I think. Uh, it was a crazy game. Like It, it went 2-0 to me, because uh, I, I brought out Omnimon twice, uh, my second game went against Keen, and Keen was playing a similar deck, but he had Craniumon, Ragnarormon, and a Blitz Greymon, and Alter S. Now this went crazy. I had I had a full field of monsters. I was going to absolutely win the game. Well, um, he stacked up, and then his last card, he gave me like a loads of memory, and he brought he got like an Alter S, and I was just like, what the hell. He alter S me and killed me. And I still made my field back on my next turn, of course. And then he went swinging security. I had no blockers. He swung in security, blah, blah, blah. He uh, did some damage. And then I think after, I think it was on my second security or my third security, um, he went into attack. And I think he went off a guy of force. And I popped off his alter S, of course. And then I swung for game. And then the same thing happened again. But this time, he went into a Blitz Greymon. He went into an alter S. And... I had like a war I had a war Greymon or I had a metal Greymon in my raising area and I was like, okay, like he has like only a few cards left. I had a monster on the field, I think it was. And what I did was uh at the end of his turn, he dropped down a craniumon for a blocker, and I was like, Alright, so he has an Alter S, he has a Craniumon. I'm like, okay. So gives me ten memory. I go into my War Greymon for four, puts me down to uh six. I then go into a uh I then go into my Omnimon. I bring, I know, no, no. I bring it out. I go into my War Greymon. I bring it into my Omnimon. Omnimon pops off his Alter S. I'm down to six. I have the memory block boost. I go into attack. He blocks it. His Craniumon dies. I gain three memory. And then I bring back and I attack for a game. And it was so good because I was able to, I had the monster. But um, yeah, he absolutely destroyed my field. Shout to you, King, for absolutely beating the living crap out of me like i had such an offensive field and you just alter s and i was like what the hell i didn't realize alter s was dg evolve and anything under 5k or 6k dies i'm like what um and then to my last uh game um oh that that game went to 2-0 as well but um i went up against uh, a yellow deck uh shout out to josh um he was playing uh shine Greymon, of course but um sadly he didn't have the required cards to uh to win against me as in, like, he didn't have the right amount of, uh, he didn't have uh, enough Shine Greymon. I think he had, like, two copies, or I think he had, like, a one copy of. So I was just like, oh, that's kind of, like, sad. But um, he was able to get it into hand and all because of TK. But the way it went was, game one, he took it because of uh, because of TK. Because I kept hitting into his security, and I completely forgot that they have more tamers in their security than they have with uh, Digimon. So I was giving him free memory. I was giving him uh, checks in the stack and recovery and everything. And he just killed me because he spammed the field more. And I couldn't recover fast enough, unlike he did. Game two, I did the exact same thing that he did to me. So, like, Omnimon, Omnimon won me game one. Uh, match one and match two, of course, against the two black red decks, of course. Same with... Um, the uh the little fours and fives like I said Omnimon wasn't like the MVP but Omnimon was the MVP. Well, I guess the uh, shine shine uh, Greymon deck I was utilizing my rookies more. I got like I got Biomon out and everything. The the, the, the uh, memory one. I got the Agumon out of course on the turn. I got Biomon out. 
I got like a monogemon now and everything. And I went in swing four. I didn't care if I was sacrificing like a field and everything because he, he couldn't, he wasn't recovering. But um, that game I won. And then they went into game three and it was like, it went, no, game two like ended on him with like no memory and he had Patamons and he kept recovering. And I was like, I'm going to have to like kill his Patamons. And I did, of course. I killed his Patamons as fast as I could. And then I swung for game. Game three was the most sweatiest thing ever I came across. Like I had a, I had like an Omnimon in the field and uh, security, of course. Then I had like a guy of force in the security and he kept swinging into big uh, Digimon and I got a red tie going off. And yeah, no, that was, that was just a crazy day for me. This like this deck, I, I know like, it's not like your uh, greatest red deck of all, but I think this red deck, like even without the Blitz Greymon, I think it did pretty well. It like, it didn't brick in my hand a bit like i i know i didn't there was i think it was i think it was in the second game of the uh, shine Greymon where i didn't see any of my um rookies well i saw some of my champions so i did hard uh play uh my champions but it didn't like kill me and it didn't go against me like it did end up in my favor because then i just climbed up and then i drew into my rookies and i start going off there but yeah um so this is the deck list anyway it's like a kind of a a 1.2 red omni deck missing just like two cards maybe a few but um yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoy and that's it that's more from uh that's me now uh i'm gonna go off lads thanks for watching this is Audi from Audi's gaming channel and the next video you guys are gonna be seeing is uh, a 1.5 box so yeah later guys